it is match day then. Notts County versus Sutton United. Sutton, obviously, rock bottom of the league. Notts, been struggling since Maynard's come in, really. Uh, I'm not putting it down to... Well, I say since Maynard's come in. It's, it was quite a long time before that. Uh, we've had a very difficult run of games. This game sort of spells the end of that difficult run, I think. So, you know, I've seen people online saying today's not a must win, today is a must win. Uh, I've seen people saying, you know, it's down to Maynard, it, it, it's not down to Maynard. Uh, I'm firmly in the camp of this is a must win tonight. It's a massive game. Don't get me wrong, Sutton, you know, probably more value for some of the games that they have played in, probably should have more points on the board. Uh, but that's football, you know, we're sort of in a similar position, just a little bit further up the, the, the league. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm 100% I'm behind Maynard. Uh, I think, you know, things can change. I think we just need a bit of confidence breathing into the squad, uh, which I think a big win tonight would do wonders. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how we set up. If it is, is it a four, is it a five? You know, if we score, will we change it? If we concede, will we change it? Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more little bit more firmness with with the formation because i think there was a, a few too many changes on saturday um but you know time will tell um and you know i'm looking forward to it i, I love a, a midweek game because it breaks the week up a little bit uh tom will be picking me up at about seven o'clock for us to head down to medley lane tina's is out then a couple of changes obviously jim o'brien is in for what looks like to be boss stock and we've got austin in as well who looks like he was sort of maybe be filling in the role of uh, McGoldrick as, you know, he came off injured on Saturday. Uh, we'll see how that one develops. Uh, not sure how to feel about that team, to be honest with you. Um, not sure if it's our strongest team. I suppose Jim came on at the weekend and got us our goal. You know, he makes those runs, he makes things happen. Uh, but we'll see, you know, these are, these are bottom of the league. I hope we're not underestimating them uh, because that's when, uh, you know, it can come back to bite you. But we'll see. We'll see how the game goes. I'm I'm hoping for a few goals tonight. I'd love a clean sheet. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it develops, and we'll see. We'll see if we see as many changes. George has met me then. Just parked up. What an ordeal that parking was. Uh, nightmare. But we're there. It's about 50 minutes till kick off. Um, George already spoken about this, but I would say this is a must-win game. If we don't win, and look, we've got like 13, 14 games left after this. Can we still make the playoff? Of course we can. But it would be a confident shatter, wouldn't it? Losing to a Sutton side that have been stubborn in the past few weeks, got a good result against Mansfield. Now I'm excited to see Jim in there, um, but I think it's all about sort of getting on top early. I don't think we can see a scrappy 1 0 or 2 1 here. I think we need to see a really, really big performance. Again for the opponents, it seems to be a regular occurrence or not so the minute. It's 1-0 to Sutton, ball poked into the far post uh, and it's just sort of dinked in. Uh, a poor, poor goal to concede really. I feel, can't help but feel like it's easy to defend against. Um, but look, we've conceded early again and uh, it's uphill from here. A couple of good chances for Nott. Austin just flashed right across the box and Maka tried to acrobatically put it in. Um, we have responded, but it shouldn't take a goal from the opposition to make us respond. I mean, right now, 10 minutes in, uh, it's been fairly even apart from their goal, and you'd expect it is after recent results and performances to come out swinging. Instead, we find ourselves 1-0 down, like George already said. But, you know, the longer this goes on, they're already sat on the floor, they're already going down at every opportunity. So, ooh, high foot there, but they're going down at every opportunity. This game is going to be so slow, and the hit is on the break again. They're flooding forward. <laughs> This could be two. Oh, Edge of the box. Here we go. It's gone over the bar, but still, no, they're looking kind of dangerous on the break. Penalty to not then. The ref did take his time on that one. I think he could have uh, kneeled under the pressure there, to be honest no, with you. No, I think he was waiting to see if uh, Sam Austin put it in. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, Langstaff takes a shot. It obviously, bounces off their, uh, their player's hand. You know, you see him not given, you see him given, but Langstaff stepping up now. To take the penalty. He put us back on terms at 12 minutes, just six minutes after Southern had scored. Steps up, yeah. right in the roof of the net. Come on! Oh, after 
after weeks and weeks of Baldwin being really good, he's just done the worst back pass to Ashby Hammond and Smith, of all people, waving at the cop now. I hope it comes back to bite him, but oh we're 2 1 down. Awful, awful. What can I say? A team that just shoots itself in the foot every single time. We got on top after the goal, they were rocking. We could have had another penalty, some penalty appeals there. And next thing, within 30 seconds of that appeal, there, they're 2 1 up. And we're back to where we started. Just under half an hour running the game now. Knox had a fantastic chance there. Robert plays Langstaff through. Langstaff's one on one and he just puts it over the bar. Uh, it's unfortunate, really, because you, your back lines have to score those any day. Um, Knox having plenty of possession now. We look a little bit panicked, I think, to be honest. Look a bit anxious to try and get that next goal. Uh, we just need to keep knocking on the door and make sure that we try and get a goal part time. Let's capitalise on this. On. Will there be another goal before half time at 2 2? Yes. Who will it be for? I don't know, but they're running through again. No, nothing from it. I mean, it's not been a very good performance, let's be honest, but somehow we're 2 2. You're playing the team high at the table, and again, we'll probably be 2 0 down. As we're approaching half time, not so piling the pressure on Sutton. Two really, really good chances. Jody absolutely rifled it at the keeper. Unfortunately, it's just gone right right into his chest the keeper's not actually made the save it's just hit unfortunately for us uh, but we've got the corner now it looks like we're going to take a long corner for a change and swing it in swing it oh no just put him to the edge of the box straight back out to the corner taker it's basically a short corner again and we played it back to the centre circle over to Baldwin he swings it over too much on it it's off time there, Knotts to Sutton to. I mean, they've had two shots and they scored them both, but we've made we've made it easy for them to be honest. Uh, really, really disappointed with how we started the game. Obviously conceded. Uh, we've got to we've got to stop doing it. Like, I know we scored two goals, but you know we've got to expect better. I said at the start of the video, I'd love it if we got a clean sheet tonight. And five minutes into the game, it, it's over. We've got to stop it. Uh, Stuart was saying earlier in earlier this week about you know keeping clean sheets is, is the most important because that's what you can build on we've got the attack that can score goals we're just conceding too much Jake, Jake sat next to me told me that they've only scored two away from home once this season apart from today look we've, we've conceded two in 60 minutes in the bottom of the league yeah put that into context yeah. one of them is a horrendous error the only thing I will say is I back what Stuart Maynard said in his pre-match he said we're not conceding big chances on our goal if the team's opening the door we're not we can see it from a cross and we can see it from a mistake like the teams aren't opening his up like they did in the past but goodness me he needs a win tonight because whether you, whether you think he should be the manager or not there's a lot of people here that are putting a lot of pressure on him and you know what one win in what six or seven you've got to say there is some justification for it I'll, I'll save my thoughts for 90 minutes. You know, we could come out of this 5 2 winners and burn away second half, but we could easily come away with a loss. If they, get, if they score another goal, strap in because it's going to be the slowest game of football you've ever watched. Yeah, 100%. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. To be honest, I was hoping we'd go in, and it looked like we were going to go in um, winning because we did a, quite a lot of chances there late on in, in the first half. Um, but look, I suppose going in, going in half time, we've got something to build on. Um, and like Tom says, let's hope it ends, you know, with us having a, a big victory. Ten minutes into the second half, um, not really any clear cut chances at either side. Not so just had one where um, Jody beat about three players, played it through to Mac, but he couldn't control it. We are, yeah, we're, we're heading into sort of getting towards that seventieth minute. So 50 minutes until you, you definitely know Sutton are going to shut up shot. They're not really going for it already in the second half. Um, and I think they could just be, be happy for the draw. They've got a ball into the box here. We haven't defended it well, but it's gone wide. Um, yeah, I think they'll go for it for another 15. And then I think they're just going to completely just close it down and try and get the draw. Not so probably just had the best chance of the, the entire game. He's put it to the far post. He's headed, headed into what looked almost like an empty net. But the keeper's pulled off a fantastic save to keep it at 2-2. Um, 
both teams having chances really. Knox just need to try and contain the ball a little bit better because Sutton are having quite a bit more possession this half. Absolutely shocking. 3 2 to Sutton. Awful. Get Jatter on, I'd say. Just something else. We've, we've not really switched on at all second half. We've not created many chances apart from the one obvious. A really good save from their keeper. And now we find ourselves 3 2 down against a team that can do everything to just waste time. And rightfully so. They weren't expecting us to come in and get anything. I mean, Notts fans probably felt different, but a loss here would be genuinely awful and would. would Got a massive dent in any hopes we had left to get in the playoffs. It's 3 3, Crowley puts it into the far post. Fantastic goal. It's 3 3, we need to, we need to win this game. We've got to keep going. Huge let off for Knotts, uh, their left back has just headed it over. Um, it should, oh my goodness me, it should be 4 3. The defending was non existent. If we go and get a win out of this, is it deserved? Probably not. I mean, based on that, either team could win it. They'll be happy with the point, we wouldn't. But ever since our goal, again, you think it would spur us on, it hasn't. They've, they've been straight straight on top. Shatter hasn't touched the ball yet, he's been on for like two or three minutes. And they're through again. John Boss not winning the ball. We look completely panicked. It's just coming straight back towards the Knox box and they're lumping it in. It's far too much space to shoot. Oh my goodness, that's gone just wide. He's allowed to turn and put it where he wants on the edge of the box. Sort of the better team here. Penalty to Sutton. This defensive display has been atrocious. It's been awful. You know, the ball comes out after clearing it from the corner. Their player comes in, he's beat, he's beat three players and then he's eventually hacked down. It is a penalty. Uh, but Smith steps up for them, who's been giving the cough a little bit of, uh, well, I say a little bit, he's been giving a lot to the cough. Uh, I'm sure, me included, hoping that he doesn't score this. He steps up, scores. We've let four goals into Sutton United. We've just worked out, they scored a quarter of the goals this season against Knox. Yeah, awful, awful, awful performance. Uh, you know, we we scored. We, we we didn't really bounce back after scoring. The performance has been shocking. Um, I can't believe what I'm seeing tonight. Back in the car then after probably the worst performance. In pro probably under the Reeds brothers, I I'm I'm going to be I'm going to say it. I know that's probably quite a big claim, but that was awful. They're bottom of the league. They scored four pastors. We were chasing the game from the sixth minute. We were never in in control really. Uh, don't get me wrong. We have sort of five ten minutes here and there where it looked like we were going to sort of maybe just 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 string some passes together and try and build up some momentum, but it just never happened. We were so so bad. Defensively poor, I thought. You know, I feel sorry for some players. You know, you've got Langstaff sitting, coming, having to come so deep. Jody, you know, he's not had much of the ball today. Uh, life has made quite difficult for him again. Another player that's had to stay quite deep. I'm, um, I'm as disappointed as I really could have been tonight. Me and Tom were saying as, as we left the stadium. You know, we, we never thought it was going to be that bad tonight, uh, but it really was. And you know, at the end, the players we met with. With plenty of booze, the worst I've heard in the in the Reach Warriors era. Without a doubt, without a doubt, yeah, um, awful. I want to say as well, Sutton fully deserved that. So they did credit yeah. to them. You know, they played the perfect game and they beat. Look, we're lucky it was four. Hmm. We're lucky it was four. It could have been five or six. Um, before this game, I, my point of view. There's lots of opinions. So I'm not saying one's right or wrong. My point of view before the game was that how can anybody be saying Stuart Maynard out? Look, we beat Newport, fantastic performance. We went to Wrexham, didn't quite work out against Wrexham, but we were the better side. Like there, there were, there was like there was hope in all those games. Mansfield, you know, we scored a goal that went over, we scored a goal that went over the line, wasn't given, you know, and they scored a, a worldie to to beat us. Mm. And tonight was that bad that I'm finding myself thinking, 
how we regressed this much. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 when Maynard came in, you know, we had problems and it felt like we had a few minor defensive problems. He said himself it's, you know, minor tweaks here and there. Um, but after tonight's performance and the last few performances, really, it, it, it looks like more than, than tweaks. There's, there's problems everywhere. It's, I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know if it's sort of belief in the system or tactics or I, I, I'm not sure, but there definitely is problems. Um, <clears throat> like Tom says, going into this game, I, like I, I think I said at the start of this video, you know, I'm, I am, I'm behind Maynard. Um, but after a performance like tonight, it, it does make it more difficult for himself. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, you know, saying that he should be going or anything like that. T me personally, I, I think he, he's got to be given a little bit more time. Um, but he's really, you know, the pressure is on because of uh, results un under his tenure. Like, we get back into the game and then Aidan Baldwin puts a poor back pass that allows Smith in to score. Yeah. And he must be stood in that technical area thinking, what on earth is going on? Yeah, yeah. Like, what is going on? Then we give away a penalty. Very lazy kick out from Crowley. Not Slayton Crowley today. He was our best player. Got man of the match. Scored mm. a good header and a very good finish in front of the family stand. But also, as much as it's unfair, it's a results business. Exactly. And if you've won one in your first seven... Pressure's on. And pressure's on. We sat on the paper perspective last Thursday and said these are... George, George and I said four or six points in these two games. We've no. not come close. Not even come close to getting one point. Yeah, We're, it's been dreadful. I want to give Maynard more time personally, but I don't see how this side goes to Bradford and gets even a point on Saturday. I'm hope I'm wrong, but I, I can't see it. It's going to be a very, very honest show on Thursday when we've calmed down a bit from what we've just seen. You know, Sixty minutes into the game, I was chatting to Jake next to me about holidays. I wasn't even involved in the game. We never looked like doing anything. We had to score a penalty. We had to score a header that, let's be honest, was a, a very, must have been a very low expected goals header. It looped in and we scored from outside the box. We're not even creating chances. Mm. Second half, we never looked like scoring. Jatta came on. Nothing, no, nothing. Not, not even a sniff. Maka, <clears> not <throat> a sniff. He had one one-on-one, -on -one, put it well over the bar. I'm concerned that performances are also dipping now. Like with Luke Williams, we were still playing well. But we were shipping so many goals, but we were still looking dangerous every attack. We don't look dangerous at all. Yeah. I am very, very worried. And you know what? Whether you have the opinion of Maynard in, Maynard out, I think a couple of weeks ago I said you have no justification for wanting wanting the manager. Manager will change it already. But I am just starting to question it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, that, unfortunately, is, is the end of the video. Um, really not where I thought we'd be tonight I, can't, I actually can't believe it yeah zero points in the game to the last two games like Thomas just said that we wanted four four points from minimum um you know the bottom line is it's not good enough uh we need to see improvements and we need to see them fast uh so yeah i mean if you've enjoyed the video <laughs> please drop it a like uh it's hard to make videos like this to be honest uh drop it drop us a comment be honest what did you think of the game are you may not in are you may not out yeah whatever you think <clears throat> your own opinion you're entitled let yeah exactly yeah put, put it down there um and if you don't already please subscribe to the channel